Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to convert a physical disc to a virtual one in Proxmox. So this might be useful if you're moving from your main uh, gaming PC build to the Proxmox version uh, with the new way, uh, which comes with features like snapshots, backups, etc. Um, that might be useful uh, for you. Uh, so you can see I've got a Windows 10 VM here, bare bones. Uh, but basically we're going to need to just go to our web browser and type in disk to VHD and then the top link the Microsoft Learn and just download that you'll get a zip file just extract it open that up double click yes on that 64 you can see all of these are selected like so and then this is where it's going to be stored make sure VHDX is on then what you do is click create so now essentially it's going to uh, copy the whole virtual machine or in my case it's a virtual machine uh, for you it might be your bare metal gaming PC it's going to copy the whole of the disk and you can see it says 1745 and it's 1743 so that's the time of completion uh, so we're just going to wait for that uh, and I'll be back once it's finished also while we wait for that to finish, sorry for the lack of upload, uh, it's been a busy week at work and I've had a few things going on, um, so apologies on that, uh, but this video uh, will be out <laughs> by tonight, um, if you're watching it right now on the 10th, um, but essentially uh, it's going to copy every single uh, part of the disk that we've selected, and you can see it's almost done, it's quite quick towards the end, because it's copying them smaller partitions. Uh, but you can see it's going to go to the uh, admin users download folder which I'm logged in as right now and then it's as simple as uh, copying it over to, to Proxmox and doing a few commands uh, which I'll show you uh, in a moment so you can see it says disk export to VHD completed successfully so with a click close you can see there's two disks here uh, this one the first one is the one that I want uh, this one's just got a, uh, a VHD file in uh, because I've just passed through another disk I want this first one here um, if we control C that uh, actually we just move it to the desktop like so so all we're going to need is another tool called WinSCP so if we go to WinSCP.net click download now just consent to that if you're happy and then download uh, and then shortly we'll have a uh, an application click on that click install for all users yes and then accept the terms if you want and then just do all the defaults and you can see it's all sorted if I untick open getting started and tick launch click finish you can see I get a window like this so we want to make sure it's on SFTP Type in the IP address of your Proxmox host. The username is going to be root by default, and then the password is the one that you set in your Proxmox installation, the one that you use to log into the web interface. Once done, click on login. It'll ask you a certificate one, and just click on yes. And you can see I've got a few things on the right. This on the left is the local uh, PC, which is in this VM. For you, it'll be a bare metal installation. Uh, and then on the right is the server so if we back and then go to uh, desktop you can see the VHDX files there now if we go back on the server side you can see there's a lot of files if we go to var lib scroll down vz right click new directory and then I usually just put hdd or hds like that ok double click copy that over, click on OK and then we're just going to have to wait for that to copy over um, once it has uh, I'll be back also again just to note depending on the size of your SSD or hard drive that you're trying to uh, clone depends on how long it's going to take to transfer and uh, to make the VHDX file uh, so mine's only 16 gigabytes in size so it won't take too long you can see about 10 minutes uh, on a slow transfer speed to my SSD uh, but for you it might take a lot longer if your disk is bigger so just keep that in mind 
so you can see it's copied over now. All we're going to do is go to the Progress Mox web interface, go to your node at the top, show, and then we're going to cd slash the slash lib slash vz ls cd into the hds ls again. You can see it's there. So basically, we're going to grab the next command, uh, which I will uh, get right now. So I've got the command here. Essentially, um, gonna look here. If we uh, type the first letter in, so H, and then tab, it will uh, fill in for us. Then the VMID is the ID that you want to uh, all uh, the uh, VM you want to allocate the disk to. So I'm gonna just do uh, VMO2, which is 106. So 106 disk 3.qk2. Enter. I know it's the waiting game, so it'll stay like this, uh, no like progress meter or anything, so you just have to wait. So I'll be back when I'm ready. So now it's ready, you can see we've got that command there. LS, you can see VMOS 106QK2. Now, essentially, we need to um, CD back to forward slash. And then wherever this uh, VM's located, which I did on um, the SSD raid, um, but essentially if we go to um, CD slash ETC PVE QEMU server, enter, you can see here 106.conf, that's the config file. If we cd back and cd into slash mnt mdo for me which is my ssd for you it'd just be um, mnt uh, for example hdd or whatever um, mnt pve and then whatever's there so i'll just show you if i cd into pve you can see all of them there but uh, my specific thing is MDO because it's a red. If we then CD into images, you can see 106, 7, 8, all that. If we CD into 106, you can see we already have the disk 0 in there. So essentially, uh, we're going to do PWD, which is print working directory. Copy that, save it somewhere. So let me just do that. And then essentially, CD dot dot. CD back into MNT, sorry, var lib vz hds and then mv that vm106 disk3 to forward slash MNT mdr images 106 and then just CD, move it to there. So it's going to move. Um, that could take a moment, so it won't be a second. So that's all done. Uh, so essentially, it's as easy as um, seeing if the if it's there. So MNT, MDR, images, 106. Sorry, and it is there. So let's uh, get the next command, and then I'll explain what it does. So I have the next command. So it's just QM rescan, uh, and then it will rescan all the volumes, and you can see on the um, VM106 here you can see it's added to unused so if we go to 106 here go to hardware you can see an unused disk what I'm going to do is just edit and then put it on the right interface I'm just leaving it at certain for now uh, tick SSD emulation because it's on an SSD right back add and then on the old one I'm just going to detach it just for now we need to make sure we go into options and then select the boot device, so I'll say to 1, I'm just going to drag that up there as well. Go to console, start now, and now we can wait for it to start. So you can see it's starting. Uh, there will be a disk check, I usually will let it run through, uh, but essentially it will just work as intended. Um, it will disk check because obviously it's on a different system, but it shouldn't take too long if you are on a SSD drive. You can see uh, it's just going to reboot now and then we should be in Windows very shortly. 
Uh, but essentially, uh, if you do have any questions, uh, please do join the Discord server below. Just because I don't really check my comment section that often. Um, and also, you, we have a new method of help. So if you join the Discord, you get two options. So you can ask for community help or you can use our new help desk service, uh, which we have more info about on the uh, Discord server, uh, just to get uh, some personal one-to-one -one help. You can see uh, now that it's actually loading. Um, so that's essentially off the physical disk now. And we're virtualizing it, uh, which is brilliant. Uh, first time it will take a bit to load, uh, but that's just because it's doing all the new drivers etc for the new machine. But once we are loaded in, uh, you should see that uh, it's basically the same, it's just a virtual disk. Uh, so once loaded, we should get that um, the actual VHDX on the desktop. We might not, just because that was before the image captured, uh, so I'm sorry about that. As you can see, we're on the desktop. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave a like and consider subscribing, as we're only 500 subscribers away from uh, 5,000 subscribers. Uh, so, please do consider subscribing. Thanks ever so much for watching. If you do need any help, please do visit the Discord server, link below. All the commands featured in this video are also linked below in the blog post. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.